Hi Floss Tube, it's Jen, also known as Quirks and Stitches. Um, I didn't get scared off too much. You guys have been very kind and welcoming with all of your comments on my first video, um, and I'm excited to be back. I have a lot to show off today. I meant to film last weekend, but St. Patrick's Day got the best of me. I'm sure you're hearing Watson right now. She is um, unfortunately not staying on the couch quite as much as she was last time. So the pitter-patter and dropping of her toys will um, be heard this day. I'm sorry. Um, but she's, you know, our dog. So she gets to run the house and do what she wants and we put up with her. Um, so, but anyway, I have a lot to show off. Again, wanted to, to come back last weekend, but um, we ended up having people over for St. Patrick's Day and it just wasn't happening Sunday. So <laughs> I did continue my stitching. Um, I still have done project a day every day in March. Um, so I've got a bunch more to show. Um, I, I didn't count before I go, but I have seven more to start after this. Um, I've managed to finish a couple. Um, part of my project that I was doing was that I was starting a new project each day, but I also wasn't going to move on to anything else that day unless I finished it. So when I planned it out, I put like my smalls that I was planning on doing kind of on evenings and things that maybe if I didn't have a whole lot of time, I could at least get a start on something. Um, but as I was going, I realized it might be helpful to do a small on a Saturday or a Sunday on a day when I didn't have a whole lot else planned so that I could also finish that and then maybe pull out some of the other um, projects that I've gotten a start on in March so that I could maybe feel a little bit of accomplishment and <laughs> not end March with 31 more works in progress to add to my growing accumulating pile that will never end or never all get finished. Um, it's a little harder today because I don't have my tag to, to get started and kind of warm up on, but I figured I would spend a little bit of time telling you a little more in depth about my history with cross stitch. Um, I mentioned last time that my mom has been very monumental, sorry for the blurriness, um, has been very monumental in my stitching. She owned a cross stitch store when I was growing up. Um, it was called Friends Who Count, and it was in a little town in New Jersey called Winona. Um, and she had one shop and then at some point moved to another location. Um, but I spent a lot of my childhood in the store. We had a little playroom and I would play with the toys, but she did everything. She had the framing, she did, you know, had the models, she was stitching, she's had her work done in a couple magazines. I remember her stitching a big German Shepherd, I think. Um, <laughs> that was not her style at all, but it's in a magazine somewhere. Um, but my mom had the shop and I loved stitching, but it wasn't my style. Like I, you know, I would do the little uh, Christmas ornaments or those little the books that had like a hundred different sayings. I remember copying the patterns and putting them on index cards and stitching them all or little golf kits for my dad. Um, but it wasn't something that I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna decorate my, my space with this sort of thing. Um, so I kind of fell out of the habit. Um, I, I remember I did a, a piece for my roommate in college. Um, but that's the last thing I really remember stitching kind of into adulthood um, until I met my husband. Um, when we got together, he was really, and still really is, into video games and 8-bit stuff. And, um, sorry, my hair again. It was a little bit of a disaster. Um, he's really into 8-bit stuff. And he does, 8-bit um, lends itself very well to cross-stitch. <laughs> So I, um, when we first got together, we lived in a little apartment in Virginia and, um, I started stitching and I was nannying at the time. So I would take it with me and stitch at the pool and do different things during the day. And it was then that I started to bring it into our house. Um, this is the first piece that I ever got back into and finished. It's the uh, Mario and Princess Happily Ever After. And it was the first present I think I gave to him. Um, but it was the first piece that got me back into stitching like with a purpose. Um, but I was still pretty stingy. And so I <laughs> was not interested in um, spending my money on patterns. So I scoured the internet and I found lots of old vintage um, free designs that I used. Um, so I pulled a couple off my walls. You'll notice that everything that I started back to stitching with was done on Ada. I didn't switch to linen until I was, sorry, coffee break, until I was a little bit more comfortable with stitching. And I'll get into that timeline, maybe, maybe. 
Um, but I found this series was one that I really liked for our house. Um, it's a, I think, Dutch series. There's a four of them. I have one for each season. Um, it's winter. That's still what's hanging in my house. Um, there's still snow on the ground, so I think I'm justified. Um, but I love these birds, and I did them. It's just a brown, I think, 20 or 14 count Ada. Um, and there's, again, one for each season. Um, so I wasn't quite into my swapping out frames at that point. Um, when my mom finished these, she just kept them, I have them in four different frames. Um, but I love them and they were just, they were, you know, just a free pattern. Um, and it got me back into displaying things that I have, um, stitched in my space. Um, another thing that I did for Brandon right when we got together was this portal piece. Um, again, he's into video games. Um, so this is Home is Where the Heart is for Portal. Um, but it was it's on a black, I think again, 14. Um, maybe it might be 18. There's, I don't know. It's some Ada. Um, and it's starting to show a little wear. I think the, I might have snipped my end a little bit too closely, but don't look. Um, so that was another one of the pieces that was very back when we got married. Um, so the, these would have been done like 2009, 2010, something like that. Um, I also had a very old vintage book that my mom did, um, or had that had lent to me. Um, and this is just a little coffee piece. I'm looking to kind of beef up my coffee, um, area in my house. So, uh, I, this one's framed. It's not my favorite frame, but it works. So there's that one. And then I also did this, um, this seasonal one. Um, each of these trees was in the magazine or pamphlet, um, and I just kind of put them together in a row. And it hangs in my kitchen. Uh, it wasn't until we moved into our apartment in Pennsylvania, when we relocated up here, that I really got into designers and things like that. There was a shop in uh, Virginia, Waynesboro, Virginia, was uh, the cross-stitch shop that I started to go to once I really got back in. And I don't, I don't know the name. I'll look it up. I'm sorry. I should have thought to do that before now, but didn't even think about this store until this moment. So <laughs> um, it's a great little shop though, Waynesboro, Virginia, um, really tiny, um, but they have a ton of stuff. And I remember going in as I was just into the, the free designs online and I found Prairie Moon. And that I think was the designer that really hooked me back into cross stitch designs, knowing that I was going to be able to find things that were going to be my style to hang on the walls of my house or my space that I was creating with my family. Uh, the first Prairie Moon design that I bought was the Merry Christmas with the two skeletons and the dog frame. Um, I've not stitched it yet though. <laughs> when I when I bought it at the shop, she got me fabric and she got me some of the specialty floss. And I had never stitched on linen at that point. And I think it was a week's dye works linen. And it, it, the, I still have a really hard time getting my tension right on week's dye works. So it, it really kind of threw me off for a little bit. So I, I it's in my stash and one day I, I hope to stitch it. Um, but I did get into like some of the other Prairie Moon stuff. I've got a bunch and of course then they retired and I am now always on the lookout for anything I can find. Um, I have done a few of the sought after pieces. I've done the thine is the trick or treat um, and the first red and the black, which I'll show you a little bit later when we go through my Stitch Madness series. So, um, but that's kind of what got me back into cross stitch. Another one of the eight bit pieces that I've done, I don't have here though, is um, the Light World by the Zelda map, the really big big huge <laughs> Zelda map but um, I've done it uh, it's finished I'm not a big full coverage person so I don't do I don't park I don't do any of that kind of stuff I just stitched it like I would normally stitch so there are some holes and some color um, I wasn't real specific about dye lots I used a lot of stash DMC so there's some some color is off um, it's not framed yet because my husband is also a stitcher um, and so we've decided that it would be really cool for me to have stitched the light world and him to have start to stitch the dark world so eventually sometime we will <laughs> hopefully have them both finished but i didn't want to frame the one without the other so i'd like to have them framed together so that they can be a cohesive kind of piece in our house so he is um like i said a stitcher he does a lot of stuff on ada right now but he stitched some on linen 
Um, he is currently working on the Skeleton Boat by Cross-Eyed Cricket. We had gotten him a piece of the uh, Murky by Picture This Plus, um, and it was a 36 count. And it was just a little bit, to be a first-time linen person for a big project, 36 count was a little bit tight. So uh, I went to my local cross-stitch store this week and picked him up a piece of 32 count. So I think he'll be able to do that. And it's, it's a nice hobby that we can both do together. Um, we'll sit and watch movies or, you know, different things like that, and we'll both have our stitching out. So it's it's fun, and he's, he's a very good stitcher. <laughs> My mom has always been very impressed. Um, he's very neat, and uh, we've got, I don't know if any of his stuff is up yet. Um, I do have one of his pieces, one of his Halloween pieces is upstairs, because most of my house still has Christmas up, but the bathroom, <laughs> oops, that still has Halloween. So um, not good at switching things out. I really wish I was better at that, but I'm not. And I'm okay with that. I still like to look at the things that I have out. So he, he, we, he does have some stuff up around the house though. Um, so yeah, so that's a little bit more of my history um, into cross stitch. I, I think I really, really took off with it when we got our house. Um, we moved into our house in October of 2012, I think. Uh, and, and that's when I was like, okay, these are my walls. This is what I can, you know, what do I want to have displayed? What represents me? And it's when I've kind of found those designers that do. Um, my dream is to have an old farmhouse and have it filled uh, with all sorts of stuff. Actually, I want it like a new old farmhouse because <laughs> we're not handy at all. So I don't want something that we're going to have to keep repairing because... No, so, but I like, um, I like old and someday, you know, girl can dream. So, um, I wanted to go through though a little bit with what's been going on with my Stitch Madness stars. I have a lot of starts to show you. Um, let me pull to my calendar so I don't miss any. I noticed in my last video I had a couple of the dates wrong. Um, but I think I had showed you up through my 11th start, which was Cross Stitch Nation. Um, so, I, I I get so thrown by this being not mirrored. I don't know which way to fix my hair or fix my nose thing. Uh, so sorry. Um, but I've done a lot of stitching. I find I'm better on, I'm happier on my days that I started with stitching. So I've really liked the days that I've gone into work late. I uh, have had a couple snow days thrown in there, which has been nice and unexpected. So um, those have been more full days full of stitching although then there were those snow days where I was stuck at work for longer than expected and there was less stitching on those days but we've made it through um I've really really enjoyed starting all of these things but I'm really looking forward to not having new things being started I'm ready to just kind of hunker down and finish some pieces and like get back to like you get in kind of a groove when you're doing a piece that you really like and I kind of just am at that place when I've got to put it down and put it to something else. So I don't know that I would ever do this again, but it's, it, like I said, it's been a really enjoyable process for this time. Um, and we'll, we'll see, maybe. Um, okay, sorry. I'm going to just show you what I've been working on. So um, back to March 12th, I started, <laughs> that was a Monday, right after my first video. Um, this piece has been in my stash for a really long time. It's Feather Your Nest. Um, and it's by With Thy Needle and Thread. And I've had it forever. I really love, there's this little blue house down in the corner. Um, I love the color. I My kitchen is highlighted in that kind of robin's egg blue. Um, so I'm hoping the color translates well. But I think the pattern was made for DMC. So I'm stitching it with DMC. Um, my fabric is a little lighter than I kind of thought it was going to be. Um, but I really... I really am liking how it's coming out so far. I didn't get too far on it. There's a lot of space in between the letters, so I was just trying to kind of get my gauge so I could maybe start down at the bird, and I didn't get as far as I would have liked. Um, I think this is a 36 count. Hold on. I have my little journal that tells me all of the things because I, I don't remember. Um, I have this, I don't know if I showed this last time, but this is my works in progress. These are all the pieces that I've worked on in 2018. Um, so just so I have a track um, of what has been done. I, I like lists. I think I said that before. Um, so this is um, Feather Your Nest and it is, it's a 36 count and it's maritime. Um, 
so that was the 12th the next one that I worked on I picked this up with my mom when I was out in Ohio it's kind of hard to see it's a uh, Jenny Beans Halloween sampler uh, by Shakespeare's Peddler I was excited because my name's Jen so I, it, it called to me um, I am loving this so far I've had a hard time it calls for um, specialty thread so I am using specialty thread with it I'm stitching mine on a 36 count pearl barley um, and it is I really like it on this color um, I really I'm really liking the piece so far I am using like I said the specialty I couldn't can't still can't get my hands on fudge ripple um, so hopefully eventually I will get there um, so I kind of jumped around a little bit um, I think this the white here is supposed to be outlined in the fudge ripple which I would have done had I had it but I didn't um, and I mentioned on my Instagram I don't know if those of you saw I had enough um, thread on my uh, needle to finish another end in Jenny um, but I have big pet peeve big pet peeve my name is Jen <laughs> with one end um, so nothing wrong with it being with two ends it's just not mine um, so I stopped it had to be just the Jenny end so um, it's I'm excited to get back to it though and there's there's not a whole lot of variation variegation in the thread but I think it's really pretty and I'm excited to finish it this one I was really not looking forward to it was one of those pieces I put in my thing because it's been in my stash forever and I was like I just need to do it I just want to get it done um but I wasn't I wasn't really looking forward to it and I was doing it on a 36 count gray um and I couldn't I knew it was a fabric that had been in my stash and I'm really I can't even remember what piece I had done on it before um and so I had been picturing a piece that I didn't really like <laughs> so I was like I'm not excited about this fabric I'm not excited about this piece but um, it's the ABC XYZ and it's by Poppy Creations and I started it and it just has this flow to it I love this piece um, it calls to do the alphabet in a balsam fur um, I switched it to black coffee because I'm just not a hunter green type of person and I don't have that anywhere accented in my house so I decided I would go with the the, the black um, or a more solid kind of black dark gray type color and I really really like the letters um, the stars that are throughout are going to be highlighted in some colors I can't get cherry cobbler but it's, it's one star so I'm going to just sub it in probably with uh, Lancaster Red by Weeks Dye Works because I have it in my stash from my Quaker Christmas that I did so um, it's again I love it and I realized I think I used this fabric for Deer House by Carriage House um, so it wasn't even the same fabric that I was like not excited to use so it's it's a great fabric I really like it it's a 36 count pearl gray not sure I think it's in Edinburgh I don't know who it's by I'm not sure it was in my stash this piece has been in my collection for a really long time you'll notice I actually have the real pattern of this I do have all the real patterns of all my projects I just um, I am not good with things and they get wrinkled and torn and cats and whatnot so I make working copies um, and I have a whole system that I do that maybe sometime I'll go through and share with you but not today um, because I still have a whole pile of stuff and this time is counting up and I don't want to take too much of your time today so um, but this this has been in my stash for a really long time and I actually had the fabric for it um, when I originally pulled the colors for it it calls for the blending of the DMC where you do the two you take one strand of one color and one strand of another and you have them together as the alternate for the specialty so I had it pulled for a really long time that way but I really I love the pumpkin and I love the way it is on the pattern so I decided I was gonna do it with specialty floss instead and I've had it for forever and I've been really excited to stitch it and then I realized that the fabric that I had for it was Weeks Dye Works and I like I said before with uh, March um, hands-on designs I struggled a lot with that hand with that um, that fabric and so I was really nervous that it was gonna be um, I wasn't gonna enjoy this piece either and so I'm doing this on a 32 count Confederate gray and I love it 
I am so excited that I don't have to count weeks that I work fabric out of my um, fabric that I'll stitch with. <laughs> um, so I, I love it. It is coming. It has been a fun stitch. I went to do the border. Um, it's an espresso bean, I think. And again, it's one of those flosses I just couldn't get. I think though, I don't care about the variegation in the border. So I'm probably going to sub it with whatever DMC it's called for. I just didn't have it down. So I decided not to, to worry about the border yet um, and started with the alphabet. It was a little bit of a bummer to start this right after the a, B, C, X, Y, Z, just because then all I'm doing is letters. And I like letters, but I was ready to like do a picture. You know, it's a, <laughs> it's a different thing when you're skipping around and there's so much empty space in between. But um, again, I am so excited that I like this. I only ordered one skein of the floss though. So I'm gonna put in a one, two, three stitch order, I think today to get hopefully the same dye lot for the rest of the brown floss to go through. There's not a whole lot of variegation. If I had it to do over, I would probably do the alphabet and the uh, DMC as well, just cause there isn't gonna be a whole lot, but I'll stick with it since I started that way. This next piece um, was is the Prairie Moon. Um, if you saw on Instagram, I am starting the red and the black too. Uh, I've, again, I've had this one in my stash for a really long time. When we lived in our apartment in media, I stitched the red and the black, the first one, and I have it here. Um, I stitched it on Ada, and it's a 16 count, and, or 18, 16 count. And um, it's like a fiddler, I think. And so I've held on to the other pattern um, for a long time because I wasn't sure if I wanted it to mirror so that I could have them up together. And I was like, I don't really stitch on Ada anymore. I don't know. Um, and I, when I did this one, I decided not to do the red. So I did like, it's like a burnt orange, um, kind of homage to my love for fall. So I, um, I, I've held off on doing the second red and the black because I couldn't decide how I wanted it to be. And I decided, you know what, it doesn't need to mirror it. It doesn't need to be right next to it. I'm, I'm okay with it being different. So I started it and I'm doing it on a piece of 36 count pair. Um, it's the same fabric that I did the Oh Christmas Tree, if you saw last time. So I got a little bit of a start on it. I do not know yet what my complementary color is going to be. I have not decided. Uh, I'm not going to do the red, but yeah, I don't know. I, I Something will call to me and I might, I'm doing the black is just DMC, but I might jump to something specialty to give a little bit of irrigation. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I'll let you know when I decide because I'm not sure. See, I told you I had a lot. I've stitched a lot. Um, so this gets us a St. Patrick's Day um, because I decided that I would do a St. Patrick's Day start on the 17th. Um, my husband is Irish, we think. I'm not really sure. I think it's my marriage. He, <laughs> we've realized that I'm not really sure he's Irish, but we'll claim it for now. He's playing video games over there, so I was checking out what was happening in our living room. Um, but this is a Luck Be With You by Homespun Elegance. Um, like I said again on my first video, when I planned my whole progress, in case you didn't see it, um, I was very conscious to do a different designer each time. I didn't want to be doing a whole lot. I wanted to get some experience with different designers and really kind of spread myself out. Otherwise, I'll stitch Carriage House and Kathy Merrick, and that's pretty much it. So um, I tried to do that. So this is Luck Be With You, and I got a small start on it. I am using the specialty floss, the called for, for this. And I'm stitching it on just a piece of 35 count scrap that I had. Way back when I started the Village of Hawk Run Hollow, uh, I was doing the stitch along with Emily and uh, a whole bunch of other people. And it just, it wasn't calling me. It wasn't, it wasn't what I wanted and I don't know if it was the floss colors or the fabric but I think this was the fabric I was doing it on so I've repurposed this piece it was a very large piece <laughs> because hawk run hollow pieces are huge um and it's kind of made its way to different projects in my stash so luck be with you by homespun elegance so the day after St. Patrick's Day was a Sunday and so like I said at the beginning I decided I would maybe spend a weekend day doing a small 
uh, so that I could go back and get a couple finishes in March. Because um, I'm also doing the Stitch from Stash Challenge that's on Facebook, in case you heard of it. Um, so I'm trying not to buy new things, but I also get credit for my finishes. So I was hoping that I would get a little bit of credit. I finished a huge piece in February, so I had, I had I'm still in the, the black, but um, I wanted to get a couple done. So um, when I started on Sunday, I had a couple pieces just from just cross stitch, uh, Christmas ornament things. So this is Noel, and it's by Pickle Barrel Designs, and it will be finished into some sort of, I don't know, some sort of smaller things. I would love to have like one of those dough bowls filled with stuff, but my cats are terrible, and my pandemonium is really old, and she'll throw up, and I can't imagine her, you know, I don't, I don't want it to get ruined. Mayhem will steal them, and she plays with things and they'll be all over the house. So uh, I haven't decided how I'm ever going to finish my smalls. Um, it may have to wait until I'm in a cat-free house. Uh, we'll see. Um, or a bigger house that has places I can put things that they can't get to. But this is Noelle. <laughs> Maybe it'll be a Christmas ornament that I can put on the tree that isn't up anymore. All my winter stuff is still up, but my Christmas tree is down. So there was that success this week. <laughs> um, but Noelle by Pickle Barrel Design. So I finished this in the day. And I actually went back to a couple of the pieces that I'd also started earlier. So I'll show you my two finishes that I've had this month, then two, my other two. Um, I did finish this one as well. I showed it to you last time. It's Santa's Coming um, by Swalik Stitchery, I think. Um, not great with, with words <laughs> that I don't know. I don't read phonetically. So if I'm butchering it, sorry. Um, but this is Santa's coming. I love the little cats um, and the birdhouse. So I like how it turned out. And I messed up the border. I was supposed to be like a running stitch. It's not. It's excess. So. And then I went back and I finished this um, summer by Heart in Hand. I have a whole bunch of these birds finished and I'm trying to beef up my spring and summer stuff. So uh, it's, it's finished. It will have a little over here um b charm that will go on it i don't do a whole lot with buttons and charms but i do think these are cute with them i do have them all like framed in just a little thing that then i put on an easel i've done the saint patrick's day one i've done the halloween one i've done christmas i think so i have the whole series to do um and i do these on ada it's one of the few things i'll still use ada for um and this is just it's a light fiddler which uh, i wish i had gotten regular fiddler but it's it's okay so those are my finishes. My next one, I don't know where I am on dates, I'm sorry, uh, was Skeleton Keys by Not Forgotten Farm. Uh, I have a thing for keys and skeletons. So I picked this one up. I think I was also, I think this was another Ohio purchase when I was out visiting my mom. Um, and I, I don't know, I guess I didn't look very closely at the colors when I pulled them. So I was really surprised when the letter, the numbers changed too the yellow but I love mustard yellow so I'm okay with it so this is skeleton keys and I'm doing this on the 36 count maritime as well the same as I'm doing a uh, feather your nest on next came um and Rudolph by Lottie Da uh, I have had this one for a really long time as well <laughs> I just you know, I go through phases where I don't stitch for a really long time. I'm really trying this year. I'm doing the 365 day challenge too, to just stitch something every day to try to get through the massive mounds of stash that I have <laughs> that just, you know, sit. And so I, I would like them to be, to be done. Um, so I am doing this. I didn't get very far on it. Um, I'm doing it on a 35 count mink by R&R. &R. Uh, it's the same fabric that I did... Quaker Christmas 2 on that I finished in February. So, didn't get very far. I'll come back to it once it's not March anymore. This is probably my favorite. I think it's my favorite piece. Um, I picked this one up on 123 Stitch. I had never seen it before, and um, I, I just love her. I think she's adorable. Um, I'm not huge on like animals and clothes. I don't know, but I think she's so cute. Miss Isabella Black. Um, 
I, I love the cardigan and the neck scarf and the little pumpkin. Um, so I, I have really, really enjoyed her. And she was a pain. <laughs> I totally messed up on her head. Um, I was, I started over on this, this ear and then I went over and then I tried to go up and I missed a stitch, but I didn't realize I missed the stitch until I was down here. And then I couldn't figure out like where the heck I was going. So <laughs> I had to pick like all of her head out and start over. But um, I love her. I, I really, I really, really am excited to have her done. She's just done with DMC. Um, I am doing her on a 40 count picture this plus legacy. Um, and I do, I love the, the modeledness. I'm not, I'm not huge on the model, but I do love, I love it on this piece. Um, when I showed it on Instagram, I didn't have any of this lavender here, but I, I liked it. So I picked it back up <laughs> and, and kept stitching. Uh, so I am really, really excited to come back and finish her. Oh, I said I'd be 30 minutes. I'm already there. I don't have to show with you guys today. Oops, I pulled the wrong picture for this one, so I'm not pulled my pattern, not the cover. So sorry, you don't get to see what it really looks like. Um, this is Springtime by New York Dreamer, and I have a whole bunch of this series. Um, again, I'm not a spring and summer person. I don't like pastel colors. I don't. So I, you know, but I really I do like this purple a lot. I like the fabric. It's the 36 count. Uh, country mocha. I really like 36 count. I think that's my favorite to stitch on. Um, but I, I love the fabric. I'm liking how it's coming together. Uh, it has a lot of back stitching in it as well, like the words and things. Um, so I'm hoping I'll like it when it's done. I don't know. I'm just trying to get some more things that I can have out that aren't Halloween and winter. Um, which leads me to why I did the, the next one that I'm doing. Um, I posted this on Instagram last night. I, I know this is blasphemy and I know people don't agree with me. I'm not a huge Lizzie Kate person. Um, I, I like her patterns. I think they're great. They're just really not my style. Um, however, the alphabet series I love. Um, I've done, I'm showing you a lot of like old pieces today. Um, I've done the winter, which is here. Um, and I've also done fall, which is in a tub somewhere because it's not fall yet. Um, and since I've done these and they're just easy to swap out, I decided I would do the spring and the summer as well. I, I've got spring started. It's in my, um, my works in progress that was happening before I did the stitch madness. Um, and I'm not loving it. And I think it's the colors and it's just spring <laughs> pastelli and there was bunnies and it's just not my thing um I don't do Easter I don't celebrate that thing uh, you know I'm just not I don't I don't know I don't spring and summer just not me so um but I decided that I would add the summer one of the series to Stitch Madness I have the flaw the fabric all because I bought it all together um I think they did fall on the 32 count doubloon picture this plus um but the rest of them I'm doing on legacy so um but but then they're easy to swap in and out and I figured well it's a good good intro to spring and summer that can be up if if I feel like it I, I don't know I don't know that I'll finish these I hope I will um but I got I love the blocks I think they're really cute um and if it was just the letters and the colors I think I would be okay it's the little little scenes after I don't know uh we'll see but um Probably one of my not so excited starts, as you can probably tell by the way I'm talking about it. Um, so that was yesterday. Today's start, I think, is my favorite. Well, other than Isabella Black, this one I really, really, really enjoy. Um, I had picked up this pattern, this kit, actually, when I was in Ohio, um, and it's from Market last year. And it is, I haven't even posted this on Instagram yet. So you guys are getting it first. Um, it is the Salem Stitcher Hood, and I love it. I really, really like it. So it came with fabric. It's a 30 count Old Salem by Primitive Hair. Um, and it came with like the, the piece to hang it, as well as like the little scroll thing. 
Um, so I really like it. I had a hard time figuring out where to start it since it's finished that way. Um, but I've gotten a decent amount done and I may have a little bit more time to go back today and do it before we head out to my friend's house. Um, but I'm loving this. I really, really like it. Uh, it's again, it's on the 30 count. Um, 30 counts fun. I like <laughs> how I don't like 32 count. I use, um, I do a lot on 32 count, but I tend to find the coverage is too bulky for me. Um, so the 30 count, I think, is a nice change of pace. Um, I like it. It's just a little not so full, I think. Um, and a little more full than 28 count. So that's kind of how it works when you do stitching. But um, I know a lot of people do the, the two strands on 36 and things like that. I don't. I'm a one strand. I like the... Um, I like seeing the background of the fabric and things when I'm stitching. Um, so that is kind of where I'm at with Stitch Madness. Uh, I was going to go through and show you guys some more of my finishes from 2018, but I have rambled on for a while today. Um, I want to thank you. I do not really know how to pause or stop or how to edit. So um, I'm doing these things as one take. Uh, so thanks for bearing with the moments that, you know, I didn't really know what was happening or whatnot. Um, I want to thank everybody that has kind of reached out this week and been so encouraging. Um, there was a case cross stitch. Thanks for mentioning me. I saw that I got a shout out on your, your, um, your floss tube. So thank you. Um, I've been spending a little bit of time watching some more floss tubes this week too. Um, I watched, uh, some of it is kismet. Um, I watched some of pretty Southern, um, and Donna Ray. Um, so those are some of the ones that I've been kind of getting caught up on. I really, when I watch something, I like to start at the beginning. <laughs> so the fact that I did not catch on to floss tube until now is not boding well with my time. Um, because I, I just am like, Oh, but I have to go back to number one. And so if you have a whole lot, I'm like, Oh no, what am I going to do? Um, but I've been trying. So I, I, um, I'm trying to kind of let that go because <laughs> I don't think it's real practical for me to go back to number one. Um, for every one of them but uh, thank you for all of the comments thank you for all of the new subscribers I do have I was going to get it around this time and I just didn't didn't pull it out I have some pieces in my works in progress um, pile that I know I'm never gonna finish and so uh, next time I get on I'm gonna pull those out and if there's something that you're interested in stitching let me know and I'll send it to you with floss and everything because I, I just need to I feel compelled to finish things in my my piles and I'd rather spend my time stitching things that I'm really in love with I think I don't know what that noise was um so uh, that will be next time so be looking out for that um again thank you guys so much thank you for spending some time with me today um and yes until next time keep stitching <laughs>